Okay, a certain group of test subjects had pulse rates with a mean of 71.6 beats per minute and a standard deviation of 11.7 beats per minute. Use the range rule of thumb to identify the limits, separating the values that are significantly low and significantly high. Is a pulse rate of 65 beats per minute significantly low or significantly high? That brings up the question, how is significantly low and significantly high defined? So what we're going to say is significantly low is defined by the mean minus two standard deviations. And then we're going to define significantly high is the mean plus two standard deviations. And our goal here is to be able to compare things. If I have two groups and they have a different mean and a different standard deviation, how can I compare them? Let's say one group we tested 50 people and one group we tested 20. How can we compare them? So we're going to compare them by looking at values significantly far from the mean. So here is a normal curve. Here's the mean. We have one standard deviation away. So this is one standard deviation. This is two standard deviations. And then we notice this little spot right here is very, very small on the standard normal curve because those values out there are two standard deviations away. So we have the mean equals 71.6 and the standard deviation is 11.7. Significantly low would be 71.6 minus two 11.7s. 71.6 minus two times 11.7. 48.2. Significantly high values would be the mean plus two standard deviations. So we have 71.6 plus two times 11.7, which would be 95. Now we have, we ask the question, 65 beats per minute. Is a pulse rate of 65 beats per minute significantly low or significantly high? What we're going to do is we're going to take 71.6 minus 65, and I get 6.6. .6. Is 65 beats per minute significantly low or significantly high? To be significant, now, is this high or low? This is below the mean, and this is below the mean. Is it two standard deviations below? No, because two standard deviations would be two times 11.7, which would be 23.4. So this is C. Is it significantly low or significantly high? Neither, because, is, because it is within two standard deviations.